Hello, it's been uh, quite a while. If you're new, I'm Anime. And I think this is gonna be the official, like, first. Oh, the light's not good there. There we go. This is gonna be my first summer vlog. It's been summer for a while now. We've had really good weather in Ireland. My whole, like, summer series, which is just gonna be me doing things and working on my dissertation this year. Not that exciting, but it's my life right now. Um, I'm actually in the car with my dog. I'm about to bring her for a walk in like a wooded area near our house because she's had a rough time uh, recently and she's gonna continue having a rough time, which I'll probably, you'll probably see in this. But um, dissertation wise, I just emailed my supervisor again. Uh, I think you might've missed my email about having a meeting. She really wants to go because um, I need to really get a plan in action. Uh, it is the 15th of June and yesterday I was so total sad be because it was a year since I finished my UN internship. Uh, I'll link those videos in the cards. Um, but yeah, and it made me really sad. So that's that. I tried to start this, I've already been reading for my dissertation, but I uh, started vlogging and then stopped vlogging and accidentally deleted footage and whatever. So we're restarting now. I haven't actually written anything. I've just been doing like lit review and just reading a lot. Um, I've already talked about what I'm going to be doing my thesis on or my dissertation, my master's dissertation, but I think I will talk about that at another time. Right now, me and Sparks are going to take a little walk and I'm probably going to paint some canvas, some needlepoint canvas, because that's another thing I do. So uh, welcome if you're new and yeah, welcome to the first dissertation vlog of the summer. It's a couple hours later and Nick is licking. Hi, honey. I'm just working out here. Well, Pinterest is on my screen right now, but that's because sometimes when you're reading like difficult things to read, <laughs> it's a good idea to have like Pinterest open. So you're just like, okay, done reading that. Took some notes, brain cleanse for like two minutes and then go back. Pretty sure I'm gonna wrap it up for today though, because I really have no direction because I've had no meeting um, with my supervisor. As of yet, um, also I'm breaking out really bad, but I'm probably not going to be putting on makeup for like any of these vlogs because I haven't worn makeup in weeks. Ireland is in like what, phase two or phase three of releasing from lockdown because we actually thankfully did manage to like flatten the curve, unlike some other countries, but everyone's still being really cautious. So I don't really go anywhere um, except for like walking my dog because we're allowed to go out places like that now. But other than that, the only person I see and at a social distance is my best friend who lives across the road or her mom or her sister. So that's how we're putting life is right now. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up for today and maybe just do a little bit of um, painting canvases. Maybe I'll move it outside. That would be very relaxing because I was sketching them out yesterday and it took forever. So um, hopefully it'll be a little bit better. And I also effed up, I painted one of them the wrong color that's fun um but there's not that much i can do until my new brushes and new paint pen arrives because my stuff is fairly bad at the minute um so i'm just gonna chill here like my little pup her little sunspot what a cutie so i've talked about it in other vlogs but if this is obviously my first official dissertation vlog well, basically there's n i have an I don't have an official title, it, the title is kind of confusing right now, but basically I'm looking at water hygiene and sanitation, like wash projects in South Asia or Southeast Asia. It was originally Southeast, but I think I'm going to move to South or both, um, and maternal mortality, and see, searching for causation, correlation, etc. Um, which is super vague right now. There is a lot more in it. I know what I'm doing to a higher degree, but that's what I will explain for now. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna move my stuff outside to paint and just paint like some green or something that's easy. Um, I'll show you what I'm painting. You should follow me at, uh, at amk underscore needlepoint. That is my new account for Needlepoint and I'm hopefully going to be selling some canvases in the next couple of weeks. It's just kind of getting around to designing and then charting and painting and uh, and then I like to stitch them first before I paint more or sell or things like that because I want to make sure they look good stitched. Does that make sense? So I'm working on um, the one that I have. I've painted a couple already because I'm just taking a risk 
um, but I'm most of the way stitched through it. So it's like lemons on a little blue towel background, it's cute. But it takes forever, so it's gonna be pretty expensive to, uh, to buy. <laughs> Sorry. So I'll link that Instagram down below as well if you're a fellow needle pointer and the sun is going in. It's probably gonna rain. My skin is so bad, I literally look like 12 years old. I'm absolutely vibing right now. It's like thunderstorming, never thunderstorms here. And I'm painting. This is just my type of organization. I'm either super organized or this. So I'm, I said I would show the canvases I'm painting. So this is the only one I have to show right now. Is it upside down? There we go. Boop. It has like light blue bits in the tile as well, but I haven't painted on those yet um, because I'm waiting for stuff to come in the post. I was planning on doing more of those lemon ones, but they actually just take up so much time to like so much time to do. I said that earlier. So this was a design I did a couple of months ago, a little pennant that just says yay with an exclamation point. And I think I'm going to cut some piece of canvas for some of those because they're easier they're a simple piece um and you know to purchase needlepoint canvas can be expensive as well like as a consumer and i don't want it to always be like that so i'm gonna make some of those but other than that i really need to clean my room and probably not gonna do that tonight but i maybe i will i just really need to like figure out how i'm gonna store stuff and tidy stuff because especially with working on dissertation and whatever I need to have some sort of a system in place. Um, so can you hear the thunder? It's so nice. I love thunderstorms. Well, good morning. It's Wednesday now. I didn't vlog yesterday. I only did some reading and, you know, it wasn't, not much was going on, but it is now Wednesday. I did hear back yesterday though from my thesis advisor. So I have a meeting at 10. It's like 20 past nine at the minute, um, but I got, dressed because I'm going to be going out to the coast with my friend afterwards and um, just to get out and about because it's so confusing right now. I feel like it's so hard to like understand time if that makes sense. It's like nothing is actually real so like doing some actual activities other than things right here kind of helps to space that out but I can't decide if I want to wear makeup or not. I kind of do but it's so weird, I haven't worn makeup in a long time. Um, I also got a package from Art Materials Company. So that's great. Now I have my new brushes, new disposable palettes, stuff like that. Oh, and new paint pens, yes. So I think I will put on makeup. I think it'll, it'll just make me feel better about myself. I'll show you what I'm wearing. Use all the mess behind me, just blankets. Um, this is, I think this is Jack Wills. My hair is only clipped up like this for washing my face. Um, this I think is Jack Will's monogram necklace. And these are the Everlane, my foot tan is so bad, um, straight leg pants, which are cute, but not as cute on people with my figure. So I think maybe I'm gonna just grab a little snack downstairs and do some quick makeup. I really need to like, revise what I've done and like what I figured out before I talked to my dissertation advisor but yeah I don't really know how that's gonna go so I feel like I'm kind of behind but I also have had no guidance yet so I don't know where I should be it'll all be figured out and there's only so badly it can go you know and then we get to go to the beach so there is a prize at the end So there's people doing roadworks like right behind me so I'm gonna try and be subtle about this but just back from the beach we had a lovely little walk you obviously just saw those clips I'm hopefully gonna paint some canvas now I've decided I'm taking the day off like school work because I feel like my meeting this morning which went super well is like I'll get into that when I actually start doing the work like what we talked about and whatever but it went super well so I feel like kind of comfortable to not do any more school work today so I'm gonna maybe mark out some canvases while watching tv perhaps brooklyn 99 and then do some painting you know get that get that etsy on the road but yeah the beach was super cute and so relaxing and just like ah, a breath of fresh air so i just finished lunch 
and I got loads of stuff in the post today while I was here. Um, so first from the art shop, so I just ran up and down the stairs like three times. I <laughs> skipped getting stuff. Two paintbrushes. Um, one of them as expected. The other one also as expected. I dropped that. But I thought I had another one. I'd ordered another one, which is unfortunate. Um, and then I'm gonna come into the light a bit more. Then I got this paint pen in dark blue. And I hope it's dark enough. I think it is dark enough. It's supposed to be like more of a navy, but it's definitely a dark blue. I really think it's gonna be okay though. I, I'm happy with the color. If the color payoff is like the lid, I'm so fine. That's for one of the canvases that I'm doing, the lemon one that I designed. And then I, I like didn't look at the measurements at inches. I was just like, okay, I'll get the cheapest one. It's obviously the smallest one. Got this massive <laughs> tear off palette for mixing colors um, because I'm the worst at cleaning my palettes and they're all like are destroyed because I've also had them for ages and most of them aren't actual palettes. They're like lids to boxes that broke and all stuff like that. And then I got an order from Love Crafts. What I'm really waiting for are some um, like dyed, hand dyed cotton and like storage for my threads that I ordered from Etsy. Um, but my order from Love Crafts came in. So I have all of the new pearl cotton. So fun. And I also have some new needles, which is nice now because I only had one size 22 needle, which is kind of annoying. So if you don't heal point, this probably sounds like whoosh over your head. Also, does this happen to other people with like loose curls slash waves? There are multiple waves that just go into like chunks. Like my hair is gonna put itself into chunks, not so much curls. Cute. Um, but I'm gonna take some canvases and like mark onto them, you know, like center them and have that so it's easier to paint when it's time to paint. And I'm gonna do that and hopefully watch maybe some Brooklyn Nine Nine or something nice, as I said earlier. But um, yeah. Not much else happening today, but it's nice to have a little day off. It's hours later, but I'm in my room again because I just came up, I'm done like marking out the canvases to be painted. I'm actually only gonna do four, not six, just for this time. And I'm gonna get to painting those in the next couple of minutes. We're gonna have dinner, but I watched Mulan and I watched Tangled. I also tried to take some out outfit photos um, of this outfit um i'm also wearing my rothies i don't know if i said that but uh yeah i'm not sure how well they worked out if they did they'll be on instagram but i haven't really looked at them but they mm, mm, mm. i do not know the last clip i filmed but it's like 11 p.m now changed into shorts because i basically don't wear pants if it's not a requirement um i've been painting i was watching great british sewing bee which is 10 out of 10 you should watch that with my mom it's a semi-final and I've been painting canvases, but I messed a couple of them up and I just got like stressed. So I just lay down and scrolled on Instagram for a while. Um, they're somewhat fixable, but because I'm planning on selling, on selling them, it just makes me get all worked up about it. But Ireland secured a seat on, as a non permanent member on the UN Security Council for this year. It was so exciting. I was watching it on webcast on web you on web tv and um, which is where i interned i already mentioned that i think in the first clip of this vlog did i um i interned at unhq last year so i was actually in un webcast the live streaming service so i was watching it on the live stream with the great british sewing beyond because my mom wanted to watch it i just like kept turning it up listening to the results and i was like come on come on now and at first I was like, damn it, oh, we didn't get the highest. And I was like, there's two seats from our group. So um, that was very exciting. I actually just wrote a paper on election patterns in the West European and other group. So, so that's really exciting. Honestly, what excites me about it is the, the hope, the deep hope that there might be more employment opportunities in like the Department of Foreign Affairs because ultimately that's where I want to work. That's what I want to do. So, um, yeah, that would be really exciting. But now I'm gonna like fix up the tiny little, like I mean they're tiny little dots on these freaking canvases. It's just that I'm using such strong colors. Um, that's kind of a problem. So yeah, you're not gonna be able to. Oh yeah, see the tiny black dot? Yeah. So it's just that the white paint never 
exactly matches the canvas color and I don't know if that's okay and it's all a situation so I really want to take off my makeup but I'm gonna fix these and then leave them to really fully dry and maybe tomorrow I'll take some product pictures and start working I have a, an Instagram I think I already said that amk underscore needlepoint but um, I haven't done any like product photos or anything like that like this etc so and I'm still I'm still stitching the other design that I'm gonna be selling and then I never intended for this to be something that I sold but maybe it's like a I, I'll have to finish it and see like if it works that's just how I have to do things um I have to do stitching myself see if it works and then we figure it out but it says hater blockers <laughs> I'm like that. I'm just gonna fix those canvases and tomorrow we will probably do some dissertation work because I think the weather's gonna be bad but we'll do that. We will take maybe some product photos and we'll get moving along. Well hi it's Thursday now um, but it's like 5 p.m. and I've been fighting a migraine that's why I'm not gonna talk very loud. Can't rattle my own brain. Um, I tried to do some schoolwork this morning, but go over here, the lights better. Um, it wasn't working out very well for me, and I just couldn't focus. And then I was like, oh, I don't feel so good. And then I was like, migraine. So I tried to do what I could to prevent it, and I didn't. So I've just taken some medication, whatever it is, over the counter. Um, but. So I tried to do schoolwork. Um, I've honestly just been like shopping needlepoint canvases on Etsy uh, because I found a uh, look up unwind dot studio on Instagram or unwind studio Etsy shop. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I really want two of the canvases, but like I cannot buy two canvases right now, like that size. So I've just been taking some product photos actually for the pen and canvases because I finished those last night voice is going i'm gonna work on listing them they're my first listing so i'm gonna kind of explore that right now i had a zoom meeting with the organization i volunteer with we do that like every fortnight yeah i'm just gonna work on that listing right now but that's pretty much today i'll check in tomorrow when i don't have an entire pain in my face and body and things are slightly better again but it was fun taking product photos i'm just excited now i was like I, last night I had a bit of a moment and I was like I don't think do I want to actually like sell canvases and do that shit and I'm like yeah I don't know what was my problem but um I also took photos of this finished ornament even though the lettering is slightly different now because I fixed it because it's not great there but I'm gonna do that and I'm excited happy Friday it's a very grey day outside as you can probably tell I step back from the window a bit um so yesterday I didn't really vlog, I just have, you obviously just saw a short clip. I had a migraine, things were just happening. And basically what, it, things escalated really quickly after that. Uh, I ended up opening my Etsy shop officially, which is kind of crazy. Um, so AMT Needle Point is officially open. I listed my first listing um, and yeah, it's weird. But yeah, I so I did all that and kind of, figured out all that sort of stuff, took all the product photos. It was kind of wild. So yeah, and then I didn't sleep until like mm, 4 a.m. Because I didn't realize quite how much caffeine is in migraine tablets. And I also had a can of Diet Coke after I took them. So your girl had like 200 milligrams of caffeine bopping around. Um, I was absolutely buzzing at like 4 a.m. So was not fun but it's like midday now and um i've just had lunch and i'm gonna run into town get some stuff for father's day i need to find a mask i put on makeup as well <laughs> weird uh just because my skin is so trash because i get hormonal migraines so it's all just happening right now and i'm gonna get some stuff for father's day get like a card and a book that my dad wants i think that's it i'm hopefully gonna make some chocolate chip cookies later today and um, my friend just texted me that she's sick which is sad so we probably won't be hanging out that's pretty much all that's on the agenda today i'm gonna try and paint some more canvases i really 
was planning on doing more school work so I like haven't done any in a couple days like since Wednesday but well today's only Friday that's not that bad so I'm just gonna paint some canvases and try and get that on the road um I'm waiting for delivery for like a storage system for my fibers I really wanted to arrive because it's so messy over there it's so stressful let me actually show you how like it's not in oh yeah now it's in focus like so um yeah but i'll link my needlepoint shop down below um i also have an instagram but i'm kind of trying to figure out how i'm going to be able to be a promoting my own designs on instagram but also just sharing other things i'm stitching because i don't want it to just be a shop instagram because i'm not really bothered with that um i'm not trying to do this like hardcore but yeah again mk needlepoint on instagram but I'm gonna walk into town and run some of those errands. So I'm the worst and I stopped vlogging. I think the last, it's currently Monday. I think the last clip was on Friday um, when I went into town to get Father's Day presents. And um, I only took like really short clips because I had my phone, but I was also trying to like not touch my phone and everything because it's weird here in Ireland like we have really low cases right now thankfully in my area there's only been obviously coronavirus what I'm talking about um there's there hasn't been a new case in 10 days in my large county area so that's pretty good but people don't wear masks out and about here typically so I had a mask on and I was just trying to like use hand sanitizer in shops where it was because I had to go in so many places but I didn't want to be like touching my phone so um then I just came home like honestly nothing really exciting has happened um as I said I actually that's not true so obviously I started my Etsy shop it's officially opened Instagram is running I'm just trying to like plan content for that get the right types of photos etc but my all-time favorite blogger is Krista Robertson like people my family my friends make fun of me because they're like oh I do Krista, Krista Robertson tell you you need to buy that and I'm like yes always but she followed me tears she followed me I'm so embarrassing no my, my throat's sore that's why my eyes are watering she followed me on from her like needlepoint account so I died have since resurrected but other than that nothing exciting has been happening just painting but i am gonna finish this vlog off here um it's been pretty unexciting but since i've had the meeting with my thesis advisor i kind of like know what i'm doing now so that's good and that's what i'm doing today so i'm gonna finish this vlog off here and start a new one so be sure to subscribe to my channel to um, maybe i'm gonna explain what my actual dissertation topic is etc and what i'm doing but for all things running an etsy shop or at least trying to and writing my dissertation during a pandemic subscribe and follow me on instagram at anime by design i changed my instagram handle you can see i got confused there or at amk needlepoint and i'll see you in my next video